Well, today is Robert's retirement, and it's going to begin in about 40 minutes. But the grand entry is going to be made by Kate driving his uh, his retirement day gift, and she's having a little trouble getting the, getting it squared away. Ring it. Ring the bell. Ring it loud. Ding ding ding. Like you're going to a fire. Like Yeti doesn't rush our traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way. Here, let's run it through here. Can you grab it? Here. Here. Just clear away from the wall. There it is. Good job. Smile for the camera. Well, uh, this is the under this is the party room, and we understand that uh, Bob and Diane are in the uh, Bob and Diane are in the uh, parking lot. And they'll be walking through this door momentarily. Hey, big smile. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> big smile. Thank you, Katie. Uncle Bob's coming through the door. Let's say hello to him when he comes through. In the meantime, we're being filmed with a filmer. Who is that handsome guy with the camera over there? I want to shake your hand. Well, hold me, brother. <laughs> I've got a photograph at the same time, okay? So if you hold on, I'm going to. I'm going to.
lot of food comes out. And by George, if you look closely, she looks pretty awful. Well done, good. Except for those dead fish they caught in the way. Strawberries and jelly. Oh, she's got stars. Thank you very much for the little star, dear. You want a little piece of melon or something? There's a raspberry. Donna, speak louder, I can't hear you. <laughs> I can hear you fine. Yeah. And we've got the vegetables. And, uh, so let's hurry up. One more. Turkey. Turkey? What's in there? Oh, cake! Spaghetti. It's spaghetti! And fish. No, fish. No, potatoes. Oh, does that look good? And what's this over here? It must be a little bit of dead cow. Oh, isn't that grand? We've got some roast beef to go for dinner tonight. Excuse me. Okay. Not so much.
important to have a have a thick skin going through life. Don't think don't take things too seriously. Never lose your sense of humor. Uh, never give up. You know, be committed to what you're doing. He's a uh, he's a great guy. And I'm sure the the gentleman at United that had the the uh, the uh, fortune of, of working with him for so many years have had similar experiences. I wanted to say. If anyone wants to say anything, please uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll bring them up to you. special person, and I don't have many opportunities to say this, so I'm glad to be able to. And this very special person happens to be my dad. <clears throat> and I don't even know where to begin, because the things that you have taught me, Dad, have been innumerable. It's from you that I have learned the importance of family values. <clears throat> Boy, I can't even read my writing. <laughs> okay, I learned not only the importance of family values, but the work ethic. And when I was speaking to um, Bill earlier, I could totally he confirmed um, what I learned from you in the work ethic because I didn't realize this, but he told me you were a lead and that you had to try to um, deal with people who really didn't have the work ethic. <laughs> because not only did you work long and hard to financially support a big family, but you also found time to contribute your time and love to your family. Just some of the things that were close to me were my dad as the math tutor. <laughs> any parent knows <laughs> any parent knows how hard it is to teach your own child. Well, we were no exception. <laughs> I hated fractions. But Dad sat with me so many times at that dining room table until finally it started to make sense. Second, there was Dad, the taxi driver. <laughs> to and from dance lessons five times a week, not to mention the Friday nights at the roller rink. <laughs> then there was my Dad, the patron of the arts, the time that he took me to see Rudolf Nureyev while everyone else was at Disneyland. <laughs> Not to mention the many dance recitals he had to sit through. <laughs> then we can't forget my dad, the driver's ed instructor. <laughs> and I have to say you're a great teacher because I drive just like you. <laughs> in a rental U-Haul truck that broke down. <laughs> Dad has a way of making a person feel very special, whether you're his wife, his son, his daughter, his friend, his co-worker, or a neighbor. Because Bob Creamer is the kind of person that always puts the needs of other people before his own. 
The words that come to mind to describe my dad are heart of gold. He's one of the most generous, hardworking, and unassuming men that I know, always putting others before himself. We love you, Dad. And I have to read this from a Hallmark card because it is perfect. <laughs> I'll close with this. Here's to the man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Too much wine. <laughs> Here's to the man who knows who he is and where he stands. The man with enough confidence in his own beliefs that he isn't afraid to let others express theirs. Here's to the man who doesn't claim to know the answers until he's tried to understand the questions. The man with the strength to hold an unpopular opinion and the courage to change his mind. Here's to the man whose warmth and wisdom and humor have earned him the respect of his friends and family and who makes this world a better place in which to live. Thank you.
Well, here is Robert's red fire truck. But I bet him will get a greater thrill so they can see the license plates. from his grand, uh, from, Hold it up. from Robert's grandchildren ride this truck oh, all for themselves. <laughs> and the last closing remark here, Robert, is that your father would be very proud of you. <laughs> God bless. Much love, Ruthie and King. It was such a privilege to have people who will listen to me. <laughs> this is not going to take more than 45, 50 minutes, something like that. I need to get something, Daddy. Okay. Uh, Go get him. He's wrong. <laughs> Retirement is not the beginning, it's the end. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, it's all downhill after this. <laughs> but, uh, and actually, I, I'm not so sure that look, that's not pretty good. It's, I just knocked off 74 years. I get, and I, get. I, anybody that wishes me a long life, I'm going to hit them. <laughs> I get out of morning, out of bed every morning, and it's kind of difficult for me. But, But what I do hope is that the uh, years that Bob does have here, that they'll be enjoyable. He's got marvelous children, a marvelous family, super, super family. Robert is a super young man. The only thing that has been understated here is Diana. Uh, no, no, I think Diana is... is Thank you. 